following screencast will show how to use the Biopack automated blood pressure analysis routine. In order for this routine to work, you need to have a file with a, a good continuous blood pressure waveform. And that can come either from a direct arterial pressure waveform using a cannula and a TSD-104A, or from one of the continuous non-invasive blood pressure amplifiers, such as the Biopack NIBP100D continuous non-invasive blood pressure amplifier for humans. This particular waveform that we're looking at, this came from a Biopack NIBP100D. So this is human data taken non-invasively using the NIBP100D finger cuff sensor. Okay, once we've got our file open, we need to go to the analysis menu to hemodynamics and arterial blood pressure. This opens up a dialog box where we're asked to identify the blood pressure channel. In this case, I'm only showing the blood pressure waveform, but we do in fact have a number of other channels in this file, and the software will calculate heart rate, systolic, diastolic, mean blood pressure online. But the blood pressure analysis that I'm going to show you does have some nice features including um, additional measurements and the ability to export the data direct to Excel. The software, or this particular routine in the software, will also automatically analyze an ECG signal, but this particular file doesn't include ECG, so I'm going to set this to none. We're now prompted to identify typical um, cycle and make sure that we're hi highlighting the systole or the peak of systole. So I'm going to come over here, highlight one cycle where we're clearly, we've got one systolic point in there. Systole is selected. Now the software is running through and doing the analysis and we'll come back to that in a minute. If I auto scale, and then I'm going to come back through. So we can see up above on the arterial waveform, the software has marked the systolic point with the asterisk, and then the diastolic with a D. And then we put in a 70% recovery that has also been marked on the waveform. And obviously, if you um, want to mark different recovery points, you can do that by just changing the value from 70 to whatever number you're interested in. Down below, the software has also calculated the first derivative, DPDT, and that value is displayed as a new channel. If I come over to my spreadsheet, let me open this up a little bit. You can see that we've got the cycle number, and everything's in columns, the time, systolic, diastolic, mean, pulse height, heart rate, ejection time, time to peak, DPDT max, DPDT min, and then the percent recovery. And these values are all entered on a cycle by cycle basis, ready for further analysis. So it's a very straightforward way of extracting the values. If we come back into the analysis menu and go to the preferences, as with many of the analysis routines that we run, there are a couple of options here. This first one allows us to decide whether we want to get the values in the spreadsheet, text only, or through Excel, so you have two options there. And we can also plot just the measurements that we've taken as new graph channels. So we would see a new channel for systolic, diastolic, mean, etc., etc. And we have the option to do both. So we can paste the measurements down into a text file and also display them as a new graph channel. And then finally, you can do the same graph the values 
and export them to Excel. And these additional options relate to other hemodynamic measures. So that concludes this demonstration of the Acknowledge Automated Blood Pressure Analysis Routine.